I kind of alluded to this earlier, but why might you want to ditch your original preparer or original representative when you head into the appeals division? First of all, there's mainly two ways to get into an appeal. One is to request an appeal by writing a protest letter during the 30-day period if the government starts off by giving you a 30-day notice. If the government skips this step and goes right to a 90-day notice, you must file a tax court petition to get into appeals. If your CPA prepares a tax court petition, they could get charged with the unauthorized practice of law. They shouldn't be doing it. But to tell you the truth, I've seen it done a lot. What they normally do is they write it up as if you filed it and they have you representing yourself pro se before the government, banking on the fact they can settle your case in the appeals process without having to litigate. When I can tell you this, one of the main reasons I went to law school is as a CPA in the appeals process when I said, you know what, if you don't give us the settlement we're looking for, if you don't treat us correctly, if you don't get the law right, if you don't get the facts right, we're going to litigate. You know what I got back? The appeals officer laughing in my face saying, you're not going to bring anything to tax court. You're out. Taxpayer is going to have to go out and hire a tax attorney. Also, one of the most effective ways of getting out of penalties and the associated interest on those penalties is to argue that you reasonably relied on a professional in taking a position that the government burns you down on. Well, the original preparer is not very likely to throw himself under that bus. It's a great reason to hire someone else. This situation creates a potential conflict of interest between you and the original preparer. Your interests are at odds with the original preparer. Your interest is to reduce the tax penalties and interests that come out of this case. Their interest is in preserving their reputation with the taxing authorities. That's why they're not likely to throw themselves under that bus to get you penalty abatement. Also, if they make the admission that they were negligent to get you out of penalties, that is sufficient for you to sue them for negligence and they're not likely to throw themselves under that bus for that reason as well. No such conflict of interest exists when you hire a tax attorney to represent you, especially when they didn't prepare the original return.